Hey guys, I'm back with another one of these updates on the channel on the blog, particularly for those who have just joined the channel or are new to my content in general. So first of all, thank you very much for everyone who has subbed, particularly over the last couple of weeks and the huge influx of views that I've received on both the channel and the blog itself. Okay, so for my YouTube channel, I usually have a video at the very top, something that's relevant to what we're doing at the moment. And then followed by my most recent uploads. Then you'll see a couple of playlists for the last two expansions in terms of treasure hunting. My most popular uploads for those who are new to the channel gives you a sense of the type of content that I put out. And you can see that I've been doing it for quite a while because there are a lot of Pandaria treasure hunting videos back then. And then we have some mount guides, some pet collecting guides. For those of you who love doing those family metas, I have full playlists for all of them. If they're not on the homepage, you can check out the playlists tab and then check out the rest of them back there. For those who aren't really into the metas but just want to get the world quest done, I have basic teams for a lot of those tamers as well, including low level teams. Some of the campaigns that we've had, some of the those puzzles that we've had in the last patch, you can see in this playlist how to collect some of the toys and at the very bottom some shorts that I've quite recently added. So in terms of the blog, this is actually one of my most recent posts. I've had two for Zerath Mortis, one to do with pets, one to do with treasures. So you can see this is the pet one. I'll go through what you need to create all the pets where they can be found, including the lattice sources, the glimmer sources, and a few of the locations of the other things like the schematics. The one that comes from the achievement in Torghast and the treasure pet, which hopefully quite a few of you have by now, and then the remaining pet battle ones. Um, I only had trouble with a couple of them. The Mom of Ombata was the one that I had the largest amount of trouble with, because that seems to be a rare spawn from wherever the pups. Born. And then for the other one, this is the one that a lot of you are having a lot of interest in right now because I go through all of the sources, what you can find, at least the unusual loot that you can find in each of these. The ones I recommend for that initial achievement, Curious Collections, is the one that you need to have flying later on. Sources for those little ovoid eggs. And then actually this one will be one that's coming up very soon. I show you how to unlock the room, which will be coming again very soon, the next week or so. Where to collect all of Pokepox costumes, all the repeatable treasures. I only recently realized that some of these have some pretty cool loot inside, which is why I've listed it there. And two other things to do with treasures. So, oh, by the way, thank you for all of those people who have clicked on my ads to help out the channel and use my affiliate links, which you can see on the right hand side of my sidebar. The ads playing through my videos have really helped out the channel. So it helps me to recoup some of the costs that it entails to keep up with the blog and the video content. So thank you very much. Well, I hope that helped and I'll see you for the next video. See you online, guys.